conduct research to cite one case in which DNA evidence helped to convict a criminal, and the other where the convicted individual was exonerated. Lucas loves math and science. That's why he joined the biomedical program as a freshman. For me, it's a great program to integrate math and science. I want to be either a biomedical engineer or a genetic engineer, which is with, which I want to focus on innovations for the medicine. And I also want to develop more gene therapies for diseases such as uh, cancer and other conditions. Lucas is now in his fourth and final year of the program. Not only do students like Lucas learn a variety of topics, they're challenged to design practical solutions to real health care problems. Ms. Barth, she gives us these projects to not only think about in the future to apply, but to think about now, like how can we help the world now? Right now, the senior class is working together to design a more efficient emergency room. During our research, we found that uh, waiting times were really a problem. We're going to implement some, uh, it's like electric uh, stairwells, but it's flat, so, so patients in a, in a moving cart can go like, quicker to the surgery room. A lot of the coursework is done independently. I love the way the Project Lead the Way course is written. Um, it really is a APB approach. Um, the project-based pro learning approach. Um, the kids have activities and then projects and problems. So the activities build skills and then their projects and problems that then start to apply them. You're very independent, but you have a lot of support. So I've kind of figured out how to do things on my own and do my own research and kind of be able to write my own thing. The program starts off with the principles of biomedical sciences their freshman year. That's when students learn all about analyzing a crime scene like this one. So we can identify who the blood belongs to, correct? Yeah. All right. In that same year, they'll also learn about the daily operations of a doctor's office, outbreaks and emergencies, exploring new medications, and how space affects the human body. During the second year, students learn all about anatomy. The third year is medical interventions. They learn about vaccines. They do um, bacterial transformation. We actually create a um, antibiotic resistant bacteria. We also create bacteria to glow. Um, we also do a lab with yeast um, where we use sunscreen to see how cancer treatments can happen. At the end of the third year, students are able to take the biotechnician assistant credentialing exam or the base. It's a two-portion test. Part of the portion is a knowledge section that asks them about different biotechnology topics, about um, manufacturing as well, about biotechnology manufacturing, basic science, biochemistry, biology. Um, and then this other part is a actually like lab portion or a practical where the students have to demonstrate their skills. So they have to demonstrate that they can load a gel for gel electrophoresis. They have to be able to streak an agar plate with bacteria. Um, they have to be able to read a graduated cylinder. They have to um, be able to micropipette. If they don't pass on their first try, they can take it again during their senior year. The base certification basically means that I, can, I am a accredited lab technician. This certification sets them apart from their future college classmates. As a junior in high school, they're doing the same labs as freshmen and sophomores in college. So it's a great preparation for that with the labs as well. Um, the skills they're getting are undeniably um, useful, and even if they don't go into medicine. It will also help Lucas secure a job in a research lab during his first year of college. Normally when you go to college, people can only work on labs when in their senior or maybe junior year. But with, the, with that certification, I can go into college in my freshman year if I work hard enough and talk to uh, professors and get contacts, I can start working on a lab on my freshman year. 